everyone and welcome to this video tutorial on how to use the application HMI control panel with an Arduino board using an Ethernet shield. This, this also applies to the ESP32 boards, the ESP8266 boards and any board that uses Ethernet connection. So first we're going to open the app and then we're going to go into the menu and open the example file. We're going to use the Ethernet example.hmi file. We select the file. If you want to open this file every time you start up the app, you can press this checklist here. This means that you don't need to open this file or, or any other file you want to open automatically at startup. So you don't need to go and open the, the menu and select load HMI file, select the file and load. So that will be at startup automatic. So we press load. We have the, our file here, our example. Then we connect our Arduino board. You upload the Arduino sketch. Uh, you can, before that, you must install the, the Arduino library that is available on the app website and install that into your Arduino IDE. Then you upload the, the sketch into the board and we're ready to test it so then we're gonna open the menu and we're gonna press here connections y5 and here we can find the ip that is assigned to this android device this is gonna act as a server so this is the ip you need to check that the ip is static you can uh, change the ip of your phone uh looking at google you can find a lot of tutorials on how to do that for your android device otherwise if you don't change the ip to a static ip if you're w using your uh, project and you put this ip into your arduino sketch and uh, maybe in a few days when your rotor um i don't know it resets you turn it off maybe the the the, the energy in your house go off and and when the time is go on, maybe your rotor will change the IP for this device. So in order to keep that the IP is the same, so you have to add an static IP for your Android device to ensure that it will always connect to the same device. Okay, here we also find status is gonna, the, the server is offline. The timeout, the timeout is the time that the app waits for data Past that time, the app will think that the device is disconnected and will attempt to reconnect. Uh, if if sometimes in your project you experience that the connection is 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 being you know uh, disconnected, <laughs> uh, you need to increase this parameter. You need to increase the timeout to 60 or until you find that is the connection is stable. Uh, we also find this option here: the start server at startup. That means that if you press this here. Uh, every time you open the app, the app will active the server always. Mm -hmm. So you don't need to open the app and open the menu again and select connection, Wi-Fi server, activate. So that will be automatically every time you turn on your device and of course you open the, the application here. So then we select activate, we close the window and it is connected. From here we can change variables like this, the push button here, other button here. And that's all. Let's see for example that you disconnect your device. So it will automatically try to reconnect to this device once, once it's connected. So if we connect the Android device here, the, the Arduino board, sorry, <laughs> it will automatically connect to the, to the application. So yeah, you can see that it's already connected. So you don't need to wait to, to like in previous version of the app, like HMI controller for Arduino that you needed to reset the Arduino board, press the reset button in order to synchronize. No, in this version of the app, you don't need to do that. Uh, if the connection is lost between the two devices, once the device that is disconnected connects to the network again, it will reconnect between 
both of devi both devices without the need of doing nothing to the board. Just you know, like that. It's it's connected.